Lauren Wasser grew up surrounded by models and lived a glamorous lifestyle most girls envy. So when she lost her right leg in 2012 to a near-fatal bout of toxic shock syndrome, TSS, caused by a tampon, she thought she would never model again. But since then the 28-year-old S career has taken off and she has become an avid campaigner about teaching girls the dangers of TSS. In 2012, when she was 24, Lauren's day started just like any other day started. She was on her period and ran out of tampons so went to the local shop to buy some. When she returned to her apartment she changed her tampon and laid in bed texting her friends about a birthday party they were going to later that night. She had started to feel unwell but thought she was getting a flu that had been going around. I was deciding if I was even going to make it because I was feeling worse and worse as the day went on, she told Style Like You. Just flu-like symptoms, I was feeling nauseous and my head was pounding. Lauren decided to go to the party but as soon as she got there her worried friends told her she looked too ill and sent her home. All I wanted to do was get into bed, she said. The next thing I remember was my blind cocker spaniel barking and pounding on my chest. I came to and I could just hear pounding on the door and someone saying, police, police, open up. I was so confused and thinking why are the police here. The police officer came in and he told me I really needed to call my mom because she is really worried about me. I took myself back to my bed and plugged my phone in to call my mom. Her worried mom asked if she needed an ambulance but Lauren said she just wanted to sleep so her mom agreed to check in in the morning. My mom never heard from me, she called for another while to check, called all my girlfriends to go to my apartment and was in her way, Lauren said. She called the police and they came round, it took them 30 minutes to get through my front door and then found me on my bedroom floor face down. I had a 107F fever my kidneys were failing, I had a heart attack. Thank God there was an infectious disease doctor there at the hospital because as soon as they found me I was plummeting so bad they couldn't understand why a healthy, young 24-year-old like me was dying. They called the specialist down and he checked if I had a tampon in. As soon as they located it it got sent to the lab and it came back as TSS and as soon as they removed it I started being more receptive to treatment. They were telling my mum and my godfather to start preparing my funeral because there was no way I was walking out of there it would have been a miracle. Lauren was placed in a medically induced coma, had multiple blood transfusions and was pumped full of fluids to flush out the toxins. She first learned she needed an amputation when she overheard a nurse speaking to someone of the phone. I remember her speaking to someone saying I have a 24-year-old girl here who is going to need a right leg below the knee amputation. I knew my legs were not good but I just couldn't hearing those words come out of her mouth and being by myself, it was so surreal.